Welcome back, everybody. So, I'm done uh, exploring and looking around, so we're going to get back to work building a few things around here. And actually, today we are going to, uh, I'm going to build, I'm calling it a soup shop. Like a little cafe right next to the coffee shop. So we have our coffee shop here. So I thought we need a place to eat it would be here. Um, didn't want to do another like bakery or whatever because we have one over there. So I thought this right here. Then I can put some more tables and stuff here so they can kind of share. But it would be nestled right up against this area here. So let's see, if I want the road here, let's just do a one gap. So we'll just do something like this. How far out do we want to go? We're going to have quite a bit of dining room too. So actually let's make a, we'll make a covered patio over here. Yeah, I'll make a covered patio over here, and then this would be the, the store part. So it goes all the way back this way. And I'm doing this mix of andesite, andesite, and smooth stone. I'm not quite sure how it's going to look. But initially here, it doesn't look too bad. It's hard to get it super random. You only got three blocks, so something's going to touch. There. Yeah, so I'll have like a solid wall here. No windows. And we'll just carry the road across this way. So on the floor, since this is a, a soup store, and soup is made primarily from mushrooms, I've got these brown mushroom uh, blocks. And they're actually really easy to, if you got a silk touch, they're re really easy to get. And you don't even need to go find a, uh, like a forest with them naturally growing. So I could have saved all those blocks, which I may need to because I'm a little short on blocks. I may have to go back and pull those blocks up. But you just uh, put a brown mushroom on top of like podsel and then grow it and it gets to be a gigantic mushroom and then you still touch it and you've got this giant mushroom block. that's about all I'm going to be able to get there gives me two extra blocks so this store is bigger than the other two but I'm going to have some inside seating so the eating or the cooking spot would be over here And then the door would be, let's put the door here. Yeah, so this could be a door. This would be counter space. Yeah, counter space back here. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Get that off my block. There we go. Nice big window here. Yeah, 
Maybe a small window here. It doesn't go all the way back. It just goes over. Like this. And that can, and some of the counter can be here too. So, so you get some light back here where you're cooking. And then there will be a house on top of it, just like the other ones over there. So we'll, we're doing the same exact style over here. And then this will be a small little dining patio here. And I think I'm going to cover this up too. So let's do... I'm just trying to see. Yeah, there's enough room for a table over here too. It's okay. So we can have people eating at that table. There. Let's, um, yeah, let me clear this out. And we're just going to fill that in. I have to get some more dirt. Well, I went ahead and put the second story on there. So I've, I've kind of shrunk it in a little bit. And then I'll have a peaked roof on here. So it's got some bigger windows. Uh, the access is only going to be from the other side. So I'm not going to have a ladder up or a stair up on this side. Like these other ones did. But, oh, okay. As you see, uh, it's quite dark in there. Oh, got him. Do I have torches? Yes, I have torches. So I have to light this up. So I was saying I need a uh, like a porch here. And I think the road would go right here and then tie into the road here. And I was doing path for road on this one, but I think this is actually going to be a more solid road. It comes straight out this way. And then we'll do um, a patio here, but I don't think it's going to be elevated because I, so I can get the tables and chairs in there. So it's, I think it's going to look more like this, just sort of continually continue uh, these seating, you know, over in this area. And then I put in a, a birch ceiling and then uh, this spruce trim. I think that looks okay. And then up here, I need to work on the porch up here, but the porch will go in this way. So go up and then you go in. And I think I might push that porch back a bit so it centers right here. So then you get up in this area. So this corner over here, we'll put a bed here and I'll put a wall up. So we'll have our bedroom over on this side. And then we'll have our kitchen over in this corner with the large living room area over here. So almost like a studio apartment with just a little partition area over here where the bed is. Oh, am I missing a block? Ooh. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. I don't think, does that go all the way? Or, no, it won't, but I could. I could push that all the way around, all the way across like that. I think I'll leave that. That's kind of a nice little feature. And this is all cooking area back here anyhow, so I don't think I need to worry about here. And then we'll put some darker windows in here. And of course, I'm too short. Or should I do black on the uppers? 
I think I may go with a different color in the upper windows. Maybe a gray or something. Oh, and then I need a roof. So I think I'm going to put on a dark, a dark oak roof up there. Okay, that finishes up the roof. So we have our deep slate blocks for trim and dark oak for the actual roof part. And if we go down and take a look and see how this uh, all worked out, hopefully it'll come out the way I like it. I need to put spruce in the end point there but i think yeah that i think that'll be okay nice big window it's actually somewhat symmetrical the door is off on the bottom but that's okay do i have any spruce in my i don't have any spruce in my inventory so i need to do the spruce on the ends and i'm not sure it's going to be all plank i'm thinking it's going to be more stripped so i think the strip will look better Let's get up here. Yeah, so let's see. And I'm definitely, definitely need to do this. So it's going to be, oh, dang it. like that and then maybe maybe like a window I, I got rid of my glass but yeah so a window here I think that would yeah that might work oh let's do there so it's not quite that big of a window a smaller window now you don't need glass do the same thing here and i'm keeping the the spruce uh, unstripped here because i think it goes better with the the dark oak it's a darker color And of course, I'm out of out of slabs. Let's put the crafting table there. I'll I'll need it up here for decoration anyhow. So there. And I do think where is it? I got dark oak logs. There. Actually, let's do strip those. There we go. A little smoother texture. Because either either I put a loft up there, or I've got to do some kind of architectural detail. And I think these uh, beams going across give it a nice high arc ceiling with an architectural detail. How's that for being technical? So I'm thinking the counter would be here. I've got some some here. Let's do uh, that there. So this would be the work counter. Let's see. actually I've got these here. Let's get this rid of these. That? Oh no. 
Oh no. I have to go get another mushroom. That stinks. Um, do I have, where's my silk? Silk touch? Silk, 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 silk. Ah, dang it. Well, the good thing about this is I've got these solid blocks I can hide my takeaways from. So if I take this, I can actually, you know, spare myself the use of having to grow more another mushroom. I can just steal it from underneath these uh, other blocks. Okay, so back behind the counter is where all the magic happens. So we do this. And I'm actually going to dig up those just so I have some extra on hand. So I'll have the chest. Oh no, the chest shows up. Maybe I'm not going to dig out all those. Maybe I'll just dig out one of them. Good thing I did, because look at that. So we'll put... Oh, yeah, I needed to... I needed to dig that out anyhow. Let's get rid of this, because that's causing me trouble. I want to do that. Another one over here. So we got these pots cooking, uh, cooking the stews up. And then I can put the chests on either side here. Um, and then I think, did I have another block? Not a crafting table. I got one over there, so I don't need one. So we'll just do this. And of course, you always have to have your brewing stand because people get something to drink when they're in here eating. And then over here, let's... Uh, Rearrange this inventory a little bit. So you're going to come in here. I think there'll be like a row of benches over on this side. So we'll do that. So we'll have this table over here for people to eat at. And do another like small table over in this corner. And then maybe like a bigger booth here. Yeah, and the rest of it is pretty wide open. There's only a, f a little bit of seating. But mainly you're going to be over here ordering. And then you go get your food and sit down here, sit down here. Or you'll go outside and sit out on the patio. So I think I'm going to put a couple doors. This one's going to have to go like that, but that'll be fine. And then here, let's see. Like that, maybe? Or maybe down lower. Well, those are too far. Well, no, those are actually maybe, the, those may work the best. that because I have uh, some item frames I'm going to stick oh well that didn't work out did it well still still leave it up there I, I like the uh, the way that looks but I was hoping to have some item frames up there with items in them but that's the wrong the wrong side. I bet if I put them on this side, will they work? Oh, so maybe... Maybe I have to do this. And then I can put my items in there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So like I said, this is a, sh a mushroom soup shop. Let's make some bowls. So I can make a mushroom stew. That does look a little different. And then, oh, um, 
I don't know if this will, what kind of flowers, I need flowers for the, uh, there's another stew you can make with flowers. Probably don't need too many of them, but I thought, or maybe it's just mushroom stew you make with flowers, I don't know. So I got that, and a mushroom, and a bowl, does that work? I'm going to have to take a look and see, because I thought there was one you could make with flowers. Okay, I was right, and I got a few other items. Because um, I looked up the stews. So if you do a mushroom and a couple flowers, oh, it said any flower, uh, it said you could make a suspicious stew. Maybe it's a brown mushroom. No? So I had, you know, the recipe looks like this. Maybe it's not, maybe it's not in Java. I didn't actually see what kind. Then there was like a rabbit stew you could make. Like carrots and potatoes. Hold on, let me check that again. Oh, it's a baked potato so I need to bake that potato but then it's like that and with a baked potato I only have two pieces of rabbit um, I don't kill too many rabbits so a baked potato there I should get rabbit stew so there's mushroom stew rabbit stew and then there's beetroot stew which is just a bunch of beets and stew meat so let me go do a bit of work on making those up and then we can stock our store so I realize I'm going to need a furnace now. So I can bake up my potatoes. And then, so let's figure. So we got beetroot soup. So I got some beetroots. So we can make our beetroot soup. And we'll just store the extra beetroots there. Now, the one I was thinking of suspicious stew was actually two mushrooms and a flower and actually one of each one of each mushroom and a flower so there you go suspicious and then now I've got rabbit stew and then our delicious rabbit stew is there let's get rid of that and put the rabbit stew Ooh, hold on Sorry about that, that was the dog just telling me the neighbors uh, just drove by. But that, so those are all our stews. So we have our our uh, soup store here. So I'm going to put finished soups in here and ingredients and mushrooms. Oh, I want to try, since I am here, let's uh, do this. So I figured, yeah, I could put mushrooms on the counters like that. But I was think I was gonna see if can you put a mushroom in there? No, you can't put a mushroom. Well, I can put a whole bunch of mushrooms in there. I don't want to do that. I don't want to store them in there. There we go. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, just a little bit of decoration. I should probably get another decorated pot and put it over here. But that, so that takes care of the shop part of our soup store.